Welcome to Indo Battery, where we are sharing our endometriosis journey and learning along the way. This podcast is in no way meant to diagnose or give medical advice, but a place where you can gain knowledge and information that can help you to not feel alone as well as become your best advocate. We want to learn with you and support you wherever you are in your journey. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shelby. And I'm Alana, and we're Indo Battery, charging our life when Indo drains us. Welcome back to Indo Battery. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I thought I would do some breath work with you. This is something that has been a passion of mine the past few years and definitely something I've had to work towards as taking time throughout my day and even just taking a few minutes for breath work and my busy life I don't take time for, yet it is so beneficial for mind and body and soul just to take some moments and really focus in on our breath, send our breath to heal parts of our body. And yes, breath work doesn't heal per se, but just bringing more awareness to different spots of our body and just focusing in on our breath. So I would like if you would either sit up nice and tall, maybe on the edge of a couch, on the edge of a chair, or laying down on your back. Legs can be long. If you've done yoga, like you're in Shavasana with your hands down by your sides, or maybe one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, both hands on your belly down below your belly button, whatever kind of feels best. Or maybe you need your palms down on the ground to feel more grounded or palms up towards the ceiling to receive more healing energy. But let's just take a few moments. Eyes can either just be gazing off in the distance or eyes closed, whichever feels best in your body. And then just start to be here in this moment. So if you're sitting on a chair, feet press down into the ground. Find a nice tall spine. If you're laying on the ground, find a nice elongated body. And wherever you are, soften through all your muscles. Relax through your forehead. Relax the space in between your eyebrows. Maybe drop your tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And as you're here, wherever your hands are placed, just start to feel your breath. your hands are on your belly, feel your breath rise and fall into your stomach, and then let it go out. Breath in, let it go out. So we're going to do box breathing. So if you think of a square, you're going to take a deep breath in, And you're going to hold at the top of the inhale for four seconds. So deep breath in. Hold at the top for four, three, two, one. And slowly exhale all your air out. Holding at the bottom for four, three, two, one. Deep breath in. Hold at the top for four, three, two, one, exhale it out, hold at the bottom for four, three, two, one, and find your own breath here, deep breath in, find the pause at the top, maybe you extend the pause just a little bit longer, or maybe you stay at four seconds, exhale it out, Hold at the bottom. Deep breath in. Expand through your lungs. Fill up your entire chest and abdominal wall. Hold at the top. Exhale it out. Hold at the bottom. Then deep breath in. Hold 
hold at the top. And then exhale it out. We'll do one more. Deep breath in. Hold at the top for four, three, two, one. And this time just exhale out all your air. Letting every drop of air release out of your body. And then come back to your natural breath. Again, coming back to the sensations in your body, do you notice things differently now around you? Can you hear more noises? Has your senses calmed down or maybe heightened? What are you feeling right now through your mind and body? And then slowly blink open your eyes or blink your eyes. If they were shut, And start to bring your awareness back to reality. So the benefits of box breathing or square breathing, whatever, whichever you like to call it, is it's just a great meditation technique. And I also like it because I have a hard time finding meditation and just being still. But I find once you get to the inhales and exhales and have to count for those few seconds of holding that that keeps your mind on the breathing aspect of it and is therapeutic in just creating that rhythm and keeping you on track with the counting and increasing your breath. It also increases concentration and focus. It can calm your nervous system, can regulate your blood pressure and help improve sleep. So this is a great one. You know, if you're needing to wind down before bedtime or throughout the day to kind of bring your body back and calm your nervous system. So thank you all so much for this. If you guys enjoyed this and would like some more breathing techniques or different things like that, please let us know. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.